You know, lads, more of a show and tell than a repair here. I had a friend from Edinburgh come over and he said he had his... Yeah, the video game called Fast and Furious Superbikes. Nice sit-down cabinet. I've seen pictures of it. If I get a chance, I'll put a link up there. If not, you probably know what it looks like. PC wasn't working. He said he had a few engineers to, that looked at it and they couldn't get it going. So he brought it down. I thought, well, I can't hurt to look at it. It might be something terminal, it might not be. There's a nice piece of kit. That's not only does the cabinet have its PC, it's got its original setup disc, it's mine, whatever. Yeah, so I had a quick look and see if we get anything. Is it coming up? Yeah, it's alive. There we go. Yeah. I had a look at the PC, I reseated the graphics card, put a new screw in the graphics card socket and fitted a new CMOS battery. The battery had basically gone flat, stone flat, and the graphics card was loose. So, I'd initially tried that Radeon card, but it's not compatible with the game. So, I used the install discs to restore the system image with the correct graphics card. Oh, just a word to the owner. If you ever plug in a keyboard to this, don't hit shift in F5. You cancel out the boot, the boot sequence and you're just left with basically a Windows desktop and you have to reinstall the image again to get back to this because I couldn't find the startup program it's hidden given enough time I could probably find it and it, it obviously won't find the I.O. board because it's not here it's in the cabinet but yeah, there we go. She's ready to go back in the game and live again in an arcade somewhere. Alright, bye bye.